Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Rylan here in the garage and I just finished recording an entire review on this bar uh, and I had no audio. So round two, here we go. We'll talk about it again. And I've had a lot of DMs about this gold bar. What's the deal with it? We'll talk all about it today. All right, stay tuned. Okay, we're back and talking about this gold bar here. This bar is a bar I bought for my wife and I bought it on Black Friday on sale from a company called Valor Fitness. And if you haven't heard of Valor Fitness, they're a company similar to Rep Fitness or Titan Fitness or Rogue. They sell garage gym tailored type equipment and they're based out on the East Coast, I believe in Florida actually. So check them out. They've got a website and they offer some really good products. Uh, really competitive pricing and they do have sales all the time. I picked this up for a really good price on Black Friday. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but immediately I saw the gold titanium bar. It was really unique. It was something cool and I uh, wanted to buy it for my wife for Christmas. So I'll talk, I'll talk about this exact bar here. I'll give you the specs on this one first and then we'll talk about the men's version after. So this women's bar is 25 millimeters in diameter on the shaft. It has the Gold, I'm gonna say it, it it's a, some, sort of, some sort of a zinc coating. It's a secret, they don't tell you, but that's what I'm assuming. And it has an overall length of about 80 inches. I think it's 80 and a half inches and weighs 33 pounds, which is 15 kilos. It's rated for a thousand pounds capacity, which is really good for a women's bar. The sleeves have 13 inches of loadable sleeve length on them. And the tensile strength of the steel is 190,000 on the women's version. Price on this one is $262 shipped. It's not cheap. However, you're getting a really cool, unique bar. It has the dual marks for Olympic powerlifting. And that brings us to the most important part is the, talk about the knurling. And I always compare knurling to Rogue. It just, it Rogue's the industry standard, let's face it. And we always think about how's the knurling compared to a Rogue bar. So I've got a Rogue Bella bar right here. I'll pull it up and nothing better than putting it in your hand and actually feeling it. Um, sometimes the pictures of the knurling can look really good but not feel the, feel very good. So the knurling on this is quite a bit deeper than the knurling on the Rogue bar. And I'm just going to guess right away that this is going to hold chalk a lot better and grip a lot better. Just the grip on this is much more aggressive than the Bella bar. Now this Bella bar is in Cerakote, so it's going to be a little bit softened over say a steel Bella bar or stainless Bella bar. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I would be a little bit disappointed in the Bella bars um, knurling, say versus something like this. So knurling is going to go to the Valor bar. It's more aggressive. It's got a deeper knurl to it than say the Rogue Bella bar. That's not a takeaway from the Rogue bar. It's a great bar. My wife uses it all the time. It works really well. So I'll put this down and we'll talk about the men's version. Most people on the channel are going to be either buying this for their wife or buying one for themselves. They want to know about the men's specs. So the men's specs on the bar is a 86 and a half overall length. It's a 28 millimeter diameter shaft. I have to assume the knurling is going to be similar. Uh, so I would call the knurling something you know, similar to an Ohio bar. And dual marks, of course. Tensile strength is going to be stronger on the men's bar at 195,000 tensile strength of the steel. Overall capacity for the men's bar is 1,500 pounds, which that's quite a bit more than the women's bar, which is to be expected. So pricing on the men's bar is it's surprisingly only about $10 more at about $272 shipped. And if you're interested in a bar that's quite a bit different, it's really cool, has nice knurling, this would be a bar that I would recommend for someone that is training CrossFit, Metcon, all around, you know, type of training in your, in your garage, and you don't want a super aggressive bar, you want a bar that you can daily drive every day, this would be something that you'd want to want to look into. 
The, co the coating on it is really unique. It's like nothing I've ever seen. It really stands out. It's very uniform. There's no discolorations. Uh, the sleeves are perfect on it. And my wife hasn't used it a ton, so I can't give you any type of feedback on use or how long, you know, durability on that, any of that type of stuff. I wish I could. We'll, re we'll come back to this bar in a year and we'll talk about it then. But that concludes my spotlight on the Valor Fitness Titanium Gold Bar. Check it out on their website if you're interested. And thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, we have an Instagram page. Please follow us there. And as always, we appreciate everyone that subscribes and comments and follows our, our, uh, our reviews. Thanks again. Have a good day.